What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to add login and log out to our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add logging in and logging out to our Twitter clone app. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one small fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along in our Musker app, our Twitter clone app. In the last video, we added this form so that we could type in our MEEPs and submit them. In this video, I want to add logging in and logging out. Now, we haven't set up registration yet. As of right now, you still have to register in the Django admin area. So, you know, you have to go to dash admin and then add a user manually. So we'll fix that in the next video. In this video, I just want to set up logging in and logging out. Now, we only have one user right now, admin, us, but I want to give at least one user the ability to log in and log out from the website without having to go to the Django admin area. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. All right, so let's see. What do we need? First, let's head over to our URLs.py file and let's create a couple more links. So we're going to need a login link and a logout link. So let's start with path and let's call this login. And this is going to be views.login. And let's give this a name of login. Okay, that looks good. And then let's also give a path with log out. And that's going to be views.logout. And let's call this logout user. And let's call this one also user because it might mess with the login logout authentication library that comes with Django if we name it login and log out. So we'll call them login user and log out user. And let's give this a name of logout. Add our comma for good measures. All right, go ahead and save this. So now we need these two views. So let's head back over to our views.py file. Actually, first, I'm going to come up here. We need to import some stuff. So we're going to use the Django authentication system, the thing that comes with Django that deals with all the authentication stuff for us. So to use that, all we have to do is import it. So let's just go from Django.contrib.auth. We want to import several things here. We want to import authentication. Authentication. I think I spelled that right. And we also want to import login and log out. And this is going to allow us a whole bunch of stuff that comes with Django to handle logging in and logging out for us. Super easy, super great. So, okay, let's go ahead and save that. Now we need to create those two views. Let's just come down here to the bottom and let's define log in underscore user and pass in the request. And for now, I'll pass. And let's also define log out underscore user. Pass in our request as always. And again, I'll just pass for now. So, okay, let's come up here. And for now, let's just create a page so that we can start to set up a form for this thing. So I'm going to come up here to this guy right here, and I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to come down here and paste this in. So instead of, instead of going to profile.html, let's send them to login.html. And we don't need any of this stuff just yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Now we need to create this login.html page. So let's come up here to our templates, right click new file, right away, control S to save and save this as login.html. Or you can come up here, file, save as, same thing. And now let's come over to our, let's see, any old page. Let's just go to home. And I'm gonna copy this stuff from up here. And the in block tag from down here. Okay, and for now, let's just say h1 login. Okay, so that's good for now. Now let's add a link to the nav bar to the login page. So let's go to our nav bar, should be in our templates directory. And let's come down here to if user is authenticated. So let's add an else statement. Let's say else, if they're not logged in, then we want to show them the login page. We don't want to show them the login link if they're already logged in. That would be silly, right? If you're logged in, you don't need to log in again, so we don't need that link up there. So let's change this to login. And this is going to point to login, and we don't need to pass anything else in, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let's head back over to our app. Make sure your server's running. When I look at our server, it looks like I'm getting an error. So did I misspell authentication? Head back to our views.py file, come up to the top. So Django contrib auth. 
we want to import. Oh, <laughs> this is authenticate. Authenticate. Okay, there we go. Save this. Now head back over to our terminal. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to break out of here, clear the screen, run our server again just to make sure. Okay, now let's head back over to the website. And I'm already logged in. So if I hit reload, I shouldn't see anything up here. So now I'm going to go to the admin section and I'm going to log out. And then I'm going to come back to the website. And we see this login link. So if I click it, it goes to this login page. All right, good to go. So that all seems to be working correctly. Now we just need to build out this login page. So let's head over to our login.html. And I want to center this in the middle of the screen because I'm fancy like that. <laughs> so let's go div class equals and let's give this a call dash MD dash six and an offset dash MD dash three. And this will just center whatever we put in here in the middle of the screen. That's just straight out of bootstrap. It's a bootstrap layout class. So that looks good. And inside of here, we could still put our login stuff. So now we need a form. So instead of typing all this out, let's head back over to bootstrap. So let's go to getbootstrap.com, click on docs, come down here to forms, click on overview, and just sort of come down here and let's just grab this guy right here. Now it has an email one and a password. So we're going to have to tinker with this a little bit, but still not too bad. I'm just going to paste all this right in. So right off the bat, we need a form with a method equals post. So we'll do that. And let's give this an action of, and let's create a Django URL tag, and we'll point that to login. Okay, now we also always need a CSRF token anytime we do anything with forms in Django. So let's go CSRF underscore token, and that stands for cross site request forgery, keeps hackers from hijacking your forms. Okay, so now let's go ahead and save this and see what we have on the page. So let's just head back over here to our site. And okay, we've got this, it says that, maybe let's put a line break here. And we don't need this thing, so we'll get rid of that. So up at the top, let's put a line break. And then let's come down here and find the checkbox, there it is. So we could just get rid of that. All right, so let's save this and see if that looks better. All right, I also don't want this to be blue, we'll change the color of that. Okay, so this one is an email field. We don't want that. We want a regular text field. This one is a password field. We do want that because we're going to be typing in a password. So let's come down here. And first, let's change this from button primary to button secondary. That will change it to gray. And I'm going to add a line break here to push the button down a little bit just for, you know, aesthetic reasons. Boom, it's gray. It's down a little bit. Okay, so now we just need to change this email address field to a regular text field. So first, I'm going to get rid of this little thing. And we don't need this label either. I'll get rid of that. And input type instead of email, we just want this to be text. And we don't need an ID and we don't need this, but we do need a name. So I'm going to call this username. And let's also give this some placeholder text. And we'll set that to enter your username. And down here, same thing, we don't need this label. So we'll get rid of that. And we don't need this ID. But we do need to give it a name of password. And also, let's give this some placeholder text of enter your password. Okay, so let's save this, take a look, hit reload. Okay, enter your username, enter your password. That looks good. Good enough for now. So, okay, now when we click this thing, nothing really happens because our form is pointing to this login page. And if we go to our views.py file, our login view doesn't do anything with that information. So, what do we need to do here? Well, first, let's see if request.method equals post. And that means, hey, are they filling out a form and posting it? Otherwise, they're just going to the website. So, we could put an else here and stick this in there. So if they're not filling out the form, we just want to send them to the website, right? But if they are filling out the form, we need to grab some stuff. So let's create a variable called username. And this is going to be whatever they typed into the form. So to get that, we type request.post and then type in the name of the form. And our name was username. 
And that, if we go back to our login page, is if we look at the input box here, we gave it a name of username, right? So I'm taking it straight out of there and putting it into there. We also need a password. So let's go password, and that's gonna be request, dot post, and same deal, password. Whatever we called it on the form right here, which name equals password, right? Okay, so that looks good. So now we have those things assigned to these variables in the view, what do we need to do? Well, we need to figure out which user is trying to log in. So let's create a variable called user, and that's gonna be an authenticate. And this authenticate function is this thing that we imported up here, right? So we're calling that the Django authentication system. And we're saying, hey, authenticate this guy, right? So we pass in our request as we always do. And then we set the username equal to username which is just this guy right here. And then we also set the password equal to password, which again, is this guy right here. So let's do some more logic. Let's say, hey, if the user is not none, right? So if it's an actual user, we wanna log them in. So let's go log in and we send the request and we send the user. And let's create a little message. I'm just gonna copy this guy from up here. And let's come back down here. And if they successfully logged in, let's say, flash up a little message that says, you have been logged in. Get meeping, <laughs> whatever. And then we just wanna return redirect them somewhere. Where should we send them? Let's send them to the home page. So let's just go return, redirect, and then send them home. Now we can return redirect because up here at the top, we have imported redirect, right? Okay, so that looks good if it's a correct user, right? If their username was correct, if the password was correct, if something went wrong, if they typed the wrong password, if the user doesn't exist, whatever, we need an else statement. So else, and let's just grab this guy and paste it in and say, um, what should we say? There was an error logging in please try again, dot, dot, dot. And let's redirect them to the login page, right? Because that's where they would wanna be. If they mistyped their password, we don't wanna send them to the home page. we wanna send them to the login page again so they could try again. So, okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this and see if that worked. So let's try and log in with admin. And this is just the admin user that we've been using back on the backend admin section of Django. So let me just type my password. And boom, you have been logged in, get meeping. <laughs> it redirects us to the homepage. And you'll notice that login page uh, has disappeared. Now we can still go to login and that shows up. So maybe we wanna fix that. So let's go back to our login page and let's say, let's create an if statement. And let's say if user.is underscore authenticated. Hey, it's, they're already authenticated. Let's go H1, you're already logged in, right? Else, come down here, to the very bottom, end our if. So now, if we're logged in and we try to go manually to our login page, it says you're already logged in, whatever. So, okay, that looks good. So now we've got the ability to log in, now we need the ability to log out. And this is super simple, we could do this in just a couple of lines of code. So let's head back over to reviews.py file, and let's come down to our logout user view. And here, all we have to do is call logout and then pass in the request. Now we can call this logout function because up here at the top, we imported logout from Django.contrib.auth. So that's really all we have to do, but we need to kind of make it look nicer. So <laughs> let's add a little message and we can just paste this in. And what should the message say? You have been logged out, sorry to meep you go. Sorry to see you go, sorry to meep you go. I don't know, I'm an idiot. So next we just want to return and then what? Redirect them to the homepage. All right, so that looks good. Now we just need a link to this on the nav bar. So let's head back over to our nav bar, there it is. And if the user is authenticated, that means they're logged in. So if they're logged in, we wanna give them a link to log out. So let me just copy this thing. And instead of profile, this will be log out. 
and we don't need to pass anything else. And instead of it saying my profile, let's have it say log out. Okay, so that looks good. Let's save this, head back over to the website, hit reload. Boom, we've got a log out link. When we click it, boom, you've been logged out. Sorry to meep you go. God. And there we go. So now we see the login link again because we've been logged out. So we can, in fact, log back in again. If I type in the wrong password, it says, hey, there was an error logging in. Please try again, loser. <laughs> right? And so don't type that. Let's go with the right password. Boom, you've been logged in. Get meeping. And we're good to go. So, all right, we are coming right along, and that's logging in and logging out. In the next video, we'll probably look at registering new users because we kind of need that, but that'll be in the next video. So, that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So, that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Meep.